Neymar Jr. will be counting his blessings for his transfer to Paris Saint-Germain. He's taken the flack for leaving, being tempted by money rather than aspirations, but looking at Barcelona now, it shows that he made the right decision. To say that the Catalan club is in disarray is an understatement. Everything the club touches turns to dust. Philippe Coutinho rues the day he left Liverpool for Barcelona. He wishes Neymar never left the Camp Nou in search of new challenges. It would mean that he would still be plying his trade at Anfield. With the cop on his back and Sadio Mane and Mo Salah to feed into, life would have been much more straightforward. He might have taken the pitch alongside Thiago Alcantara, his midfield partner at Bayern Munich. Coutinho would have had a Champions League winner's medal around his neck. The elusive Premier League title would have been won under his stewardship. The Brazilian surely would have been a certified legend all at the age of 28. He would have championed everything the Liverpool faithful wanted. A lot could have happened, but it didn't. This is a twist of fate that Coutinho has to live with. He has to contend with the decisions that he took. To look into the Rio de Janeiro native's future, we have to look into his past and his present. His past is well documented. The attacking midfielder arrived on the European shores, doing enough to impress Inter Milan's scouting personnel while in Vasco da Gama's under-17 team. The move did not materialize as Coutinho and his representatives had hoped. The creative talent that departed Milan with Kaká's transfer from AC Milan to Real Madrid was supposed to be realized with Coutinho's arrival. He would give a good account of his abilities at Espanyol under Mauricio Pochettino, but it was on English soil that he truly blossomed. Brendan Rodgers got the most out of him, and a permanent move to Merseyside for a paltry 30 million euros was secured. He didn't look back and five years later moved to Barcelona for 145 million euros. This journey saw him turn from a sporadic creator into a prolific scorer. In the 2017-18 season, he had 14 goals and 9 assists to his name. The six months he spent at Anfield before leaving for Barcelona, he contributed with 12 goals and 8 assists in 20 competitive appearances. His star was on the ascendancy, and Barcelona were getting a bargain despite the Mega Millions outlay. Nothing has worked according to plan. He won the Champions League, but after being unceremoniously ushered out on loan to Bayern Munich, and despite his goal-scoring exploits being on exhibit in the European club competition, the Bavarians didn't decide to sign him on a permanent deal. He'd not done enough to justify a significant financial outlay. The financial constraints enforced by the coronavirus pandemic didn't help his cause, but even without it, Bayern were in double thoughts in keeping him at the Allianz Arena. A slouched Coutinho returned to the Camp Nou with his future in doubt. He was not in Ernesto Valverde's plan, and Kike Setien wasn't going to give him a chance either. However, winds of change were afoot in Catalonia. Ronald Koeman was ushered in to replace Setien. It was rumoured that the managerial change at the club was made to work in his favour. The Dutch manager will have to incorporate Coutinho alongside Lionel Messi and Antoine Griezmann. Messi's bombshell to leave and the resulting changes were supposed to be the footnote that signalled the Brazilian's departure. The Catalan club stood firm, and with no willing buyers, Coutinho's presence at the Camp Nou continued. The second lease of life afforded to Coutinho has not helped his cause. He's been given greater first-team minutes that Valverde allowed him in Blaugrana colours. It's not had the desired impact. With three goals and two assists to show for, the 28-year-old is struggling to build on his performances in Bavaria. He managed 11 goals and 9 assists in 38 competitive appearances. While the season is still in its infancy and Coutinho is playing under his third manager in three years, it's not pointing to a bright future. Barcelona's poor La Liga form doesn't bode well for him as well. The names the team count upon is the who's who of world football. The glittering stars of this generation and the one that will follow lines up for La Blaugrana. After 13 La Liga outings, Barcelona are stranded in fifth place. They're eight points behind Atletico Madrid, who've played a game less. While Koeman struggles to steer Barcelona's sinking ship, it continues to coincide with Coutinho's dwindling returns. It looks unlikely that the 28-year-old will find solace in Catalonia, whether or not Ronald Koeman can steady Barcelona's La Liga title assault. The Dutch tactician's days are numbered at the club. The incoming board will bring their preferred candidate once they take over. Their second act of business will be to get rid of their 145 million euro recruit. Griezmann is the heir apparent to Luis Suarez, but Coutinho doesn't fit into the system. He doesn't have the pace or dribbling ability to play on the wings, and moreover, his ability to create from the centre of the park is limited, especially given the fact that he plays with the maestro Lionel Messi. 
At 28, staying in Barcelona is no longer an option. Even if Barcelona don't force him out like they did to Arturo Vidal and Luis Suarez, Coutinho should look to resurrect his career elsewhere. He struggled to live up to expectations at Camp Nou, but there's still stock in his name. Like James Rodriguez at Everton, there is hope for him to find salvation after a flop move to one of the biggest clubs in world football. Real Madrid was a pit of despair for James Rodriguez, and the same can be said about Coutinho at Barcelona. Coutinho can find parallels and hope in Rodriguez's case. However, these stop once the surface is scratched. The failures to perform in the grandest of teams is the same. The loan deals to Bayern Munich can be ticked off, and protracted moves away from the said clubs to find joy in football. All are there, but the differences start when one remembers who Rodriguez reported to. It was Carlo Ancelotti who brought him to Real Madrid and then welcomed him back at Bayern Munich. He's the man who's in charge at Everton, the third time the pair are together. Coutinho doesn't have anyone with whom he shares such a relationship. Out of the managers he's had a good time on the pitch with, Mauricio Pochettino is out of a job. It's been a decade since the two were together. Pochettino has been earmarked for a big role at an established European powerhouse ever since he was relieved of his responsibilities at Tottenham. The Argentine tactician was the man who first showed what Coutinho has to offer in Europe. After his remarkable job in unearthing the potential of Christian Eriksen and Harry Kane and getting the most out of Deli Ali, he has the credentials to get the most out of the 28-year-old. The other man under whom he progressed, Brendan Rodgers, is at the helm of Leicester City. The Foxes are second in the Premier League power rankings. The Northern Irishman would love to be paired with his former protégé, but he can't come close to matching his salary demands. There may be willingness, after all, Leicester City have been in this place before. They were at this juncture last year behind Liverpool, ahead of the congested Christmas fixture list. But in the end, they were pipped out of Champions League qualifying spots by the Manchester clubs and Chelsea. Probably it's the spark by the Brazilian who can help Leicester City make the jump and establish them as genuine top six contenders, if not Premier League title challengers again. At this stage of his career, it will not be kind to ask him for a wage cut, but this is the reality of the situation. Something has to give, and Coutinho's situation at Barcelona demands it. However, even if he's willing to take the plunge and reduce his demands, there are some question marks about Leicester City's ability to cough up the required sums to bring Coutinho back to the Premier League. In all these hypotheticals, there has to be a desire of both the club and the player to embark on an ambitious project. The balance in this equation will decide. History aside, the options for Coutinho are not limited. Serie A has been touted as a suitable destination for him. Any of the Italian seven sisters would jump at the chance to secure his services. Juventus will be looking to get rid of Paolo Dybala in the near future. La Gioia has struggled to enshrine himself in Andrea Pirlo's plans and is looking for a future away from the club. Old Trafford is a possible destination for him. With Douglas Costa already on a year-long loan at Bayern Munich, the old lady's gamble on him might prove to be worthwhile. A future at the San Siro cannot be ruled out. Antonio Conte's punt on Christian Eriksen hasn't worked, as everyone at Inter Milan had hoped it would. The combative tactician wants a creative outlet and Coutinho might fit the bill. With the Danes supposed to leave in the January transfer window and Raja Nangalan also possibly leaving for his third stint with Cagliari, the wage bill might have enough cushion to incorporate him. However, it's at AC Milan that Coutinho has the best chance of revitalizing his career. Heading into the winter break, the Rossoneri are the surprise leaders in the Serie A title race. With Zlatan Ibrahimovic leading the lines, alongside Ante Rebic and Rafael Leal, there is a need for a creative attacking midfielder who can shoulder the creative burdens, alongside Hakan Çanaloglu. The Turkish midfielder is locked in contract negotiations and his contract expires in the summer of 2021. Milan should be able to extend the former Bayer Leverkusen man's contract, but if they fail to do so, they'll have a ready-made replacement in Philippe Coutinho. Paolo Maldini has a challenging task on his hands, and the coming months will show his prowess in the role of technical director. A Bundesliga return is out of the question given the league's inability to keep hold of top players, especially when Bayern Munich are out of the question. The only other club in Europe who can match the 28-year-old's aspirations is the Ligue 1 giants, Paris Saint-Germain. The Parisians can unite Neymar with Coutinho, a pairing which has proven to be quite resourceful for the Golden Squad. Coutinho has been the perfect foil to Neymar's genius, and it will be worth paying top dollar to watch the duo in action with Kylian Mbappe in tandem. It will be ironic to see him line up alongside Neymar, the man he was supposed to replace at Camp Nou. Such is the nature of professional club football. As it stands, there is a lot of opportunities available for Philippe Coutinho. The kid still has plenty in his reservoir to offer to potential suitors. 
Given his playing style, his shelf life is greater than your average attacking midfielder. Moreover, not only does he offer creativity, but also as a genuine goal-scoring threat. It needs to be seen what he does next. No matter what he does, one thing's for certain, writing him off would be an injustice. He's had productive campaigns, not at the level that was expected of him, but productive campaigns nonetheless. He's battled circumstances out of his hands, but showed that there's still the spark that got in the nickname The Little Magician. Here's to hoping that he regains his top form and returns to entertaining audiences with his footballing abilities.